this is Vaishali Siddhapai and welcome to my channel Complemental Economics and today's class it's about the new chapter government budget and the economy the first question we have to write only the chart of a government budget so let's see there is a constitution requirement in India according to the article 112 to present before the parliament a statement of estimated receipts and expenditure of the government in respect of every financial year the financial year already uh, aware i guess that is 1st april to 31st march this particular annual financial statement constitute the main budget document of the government the budget it is all about the revenue and expenditure expenditure how much money we're going to get as a revenue and how much money we are spending in the economy that will be calculated for one particular year that particular year will be called as financial year so now the question demands only the chart of uh, government budget so let's see the government budget can be classified into two different ways so that is revenue budget and the capital budget the revenue budget again it is classified into two ways one is a receipt another one is the expenditure receipts means how much money you are getting uh, to the government you are collecting and expenditure from that money where you are spending the expenditure expenditure is nothing but the spending and the same way the revenue receipts classified into two different ways again that is tax revenue and the non-tax revenue from tax how much money you're going to get if we calculate that that will be tax revenue uh, other than the tax we'll get revenue from so many sources if we calculate that that will be called as non-tax revenue in revenue expenditure we classified into planned revenue expenditure non-planned ex revenue expenditure so then when it comes to capital budget again capital budget classified into two ways one is capital receipts and capital expenditure just like a revenue receipts and revenue expenditure here the capital expenditure again classified into planned and non-planned capital expenditure so if you just write this particular chart you're going to get four mark in your exam so just come with one introduction what is budget then you have to go with this chart so complete four mark if you're going to get in the exam please don't leave this because it is not uh, time consuming very uh, couple of minutes you can complete the chart thank you so much if you really like my video please subscribe and share thank you